These are 53 gallon barrels. No one starts off doing things perfectly. Just ask master distiller Keith Barnes. We were the third distillery in the state. And so all of the ugly teenage years are behind us. Less than a decade later, Keith's company, Bainbridge Organic Distillers, is all grown up and producing some of the best spirits in the state. We have our Battle Point Whiskey. We have Bainbridge Legacy Vodka. We have uh, Vanilla Vodka. We have two gins. Both of them use a little bit of Doug Fir. But it's another liquor they produce that's put Bainbridge on the world whiskey map. We didn't really set out to build a Japanese whiskey, but we set out to build a whiskey that had a connection to that place. That place is Yama, a village built on Bainbridge in the 1880s where Japanese immigrants lived while working at a local mill. When efforts started to help document and preserve artifacts from the site, Keith's distillery set out to help. Well, the idea was to build a whiskey that had some Japanese influence to it, uh, and we would carve off the vast majority of the profits from that, and those would be donated to uh, Bainbridge History Museum. Yama is made from unmalted barley that's grown up in the Skagit Valley, and it uses uh, a Scottish whiskey yeast. But what really sets this whiskey apart is the wood they use to mature it in. And Mizunara oak is kind of a cult thing. Uh, the Japanese use it very sparingly. Little did they know the whiskey they were making would be so well received. Yama was named Craft Whiskey of the Year by Whiskey Advocate magazine, an honor Keith was unaware he won until a friend told him. It just goes to show you don't have to be big to be the toast of the town. Everything came together in just the right way at just the right time, and we were able to make something that was special enough that people recognized it for being great. Okay, not only was Yama a big winner, but their Battle Point whiskey was voted Best American Wheat Whiskey. So congratulations to them, fabulous whiskey, a Bainbridge Distillery. Talking like I drank too much whiskey. I didn't though, drink responsibly, please.